Welcome to Anchored. I'm Sarah. I'd like you to think back to the last time you were hungry. And not just, I'm hungry for some good barbecue. I could really go for some brisket right now. I'm talking about being distracted because your body has your attention that it hasn't eaten in a long time and seriously needs some sustenance. We're talking hangry territory. If you're like me, a snack is only an arm's length away, so I really don't ever have to be hungry. But one of the cool ways God designed our bodies is that the things we experience physically can affect us spiritually and draw us closer to God. Let's take fasting. There's nothing inherently spiritual about starving yourself. However, if you consider Psalm 63, where David begins with, Oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. David paints a picture of a longing for God that connects with his physical hunger and thirst. When we approach fasting with the attitude of identifying with our need for God, our recognition of our weakness, we're taken to this place of right-sized humility. See, we have legitimate human limitations. We need food and water, and our body lets us know very clearly. But our spiritual thirst may not shout as loudly. It's easier to ignore. When we fast, we let our physical hunger connect with our spiritual hunger. We choose to need God to sustain us when food isn't, which can make us ready to receive other things that our good God has to offer us. Not everyone can or should fast from food for health reasons, but for those of us who can, this is the ideal way to fast. In fact, it's the only way we see it done in scripture. In our context of plenty, where most of us live with full bellies, fasting can be a powerful way of allowing our bodies to help our souls crave more of God. So what would it look like for you to take the next step in fasting? Maybe it's just a meal or half a day. If you can't fast, what's something you can't live without that you could give up for a time to long more for God? Join with me this season as we press into God and see him move. Hey, thank you for engaging with this episode of Anchored. Are you part of Bethel Church and interested in being a host for this podcast? We know that God speaks to each one of us. We want to faithfully grow the people who contribute and share their insights through this podcast. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, please email video at Bethel.ch.